My name is Drew Vanders. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create perfect circles in Minecraft. As perfect as you can get them. The first thing about circles is that the bigger it is, the more accurate the circle can be, the more perfect it is. However, you don't necessarily want a super big circle for every single build, and there is no such thing as an absolutely perfect circle in Minecraft. Maybe unless you got really, really big. The first thing to do with making a circle in Minecraft is to place down a center block. I've used the chiseled stone blocks for this. The next thing is that from the center block you want to have a radius amount. Say if you put down four blocks, that's your radius. And you put down another four blocks away from that as well, around each side. And then what I like to do after I've placed down the radius is place down blocks on the outside. Because most of the, these are all odd circles, so I always end up putting an odd number on the outside. It is normally either 3, 5, 7, or 9. I haven't really used... You can use 11, but I haven't really used that yet. Or very often. And once you got your little cross in here for your circle, you want to then figure out what angle you want the inside to be at. And so you tend to put down blocks in in a way that's like going down in order. So if you have a bigger circle, you could start with four and then go down to three, then two, and one. You could also put it like this, but that would make it look way less circular in my opinion. So you put it out like this. And then the next thing to do is that you want to copy that pattern down on every single circle corner. And while copying the pattern down to each side, if you have one of these lengths not correct to the other length, this is when you're going to figure out that your circle is not completely square. And when placing down your circle, you might want, say, this: these two circles, they have the same radius, but you might want to have your outside be a, a different number so you can fit in either more doors inside of it. And that will change the circle's angle. This one has two long blocks on each side, just like the previous dimension so cool. If you're gonna do add on another block it will make the angle change of it to the previous size of the so cool. Here's another example of that. I'm pretty sure this dimension is six on the radius and so the five radius has the same angle because this one's outside is five. On bigger circles it is much harder to get this good arch in here. So there's a, a trick using mass that I found out. I, I realized so, a quick math lesson. Quick math! If this block has this length right here is 1 and this length right here is 1, the distance between this corner and this corner is radical 2. Because the radius of the circle is 11, you can put down a number of blocks here to be able to measure it. You multiply this number of blocks, which is 8, from the center to the edge, times radical 2, and that will give you 11.3 which is close to 11, close enough for Minecraft for it to be considered a good circle. On this much bigger circle where the radius is 20, for me to actually be able to get the right arc without this line, I, I ended up getting it wrong initially, and so I calculated 15 times radical 2, and that got me 21.21, .21, and that wasn't good enough, so I did 14 times radical 2, and that got me 19.7, and that one's close enough. So I ended up having to change the ang the the arch of this angle right here for the, the circle to be 14 blocks long. I'm not going to make a 40 radius circle, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start right here because I want this side of this circle to start right next to here. So what I do is I'm going to count 40 over and copy that over three more times. And now that I got my length, I will place down the central, and then copy this guy over three more times. And I have the length of the four radiuses on the on the circle. Hopefully they're all the same. And now it's time to turn this plus into a cross to be able to make the circle. 
I've got the cross of the circle done. I might need to change this length right here to... It's 13 right now. I might need to be 15. But I'm going to figure that out after I get the arc done. I calculated the sideways length and this is 28 to be able to get this right arch. This is what I got so far. So I had to go off with a 5, a 3, 3, 2 pattern and that didn't quite line up. So I think I'm going to extend all the 13s in the 15s. Okay, I changed all the 13s in the 15s at a 5, 4, 3, 2 pattern. But right here, over here, it doesn't look very circular, so I'm going to change this pattern up to make it look more like a circle. Okay, I changed the pattern to a 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2. And I think this is, it looks way better now. It looks much more circular. And I think, I think the hardest part, if you, as long as you got the your radius right completely, I think creating this arch right here between you is probably the hardest part of creating any circle. I'm now going to copy this around to the every single edge of the circle. This right here is a good example of a messed up pattern or length of the radius. However, this is this is a messed up pattern because I forgot the third two over here. And now it should line up perfectly. This is the completed 40 radius circle. I think I think it looks a little bit off. I might got the arch could be better, but it doesn't matter too much as it's really big as nobody's on the ground is going to notice it. Only people very high up above, say if you made this a towel, would be able to notice it being off. I hope you guys found this video useful or enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It'd be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich. I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.